Now before I mention the hadith, there's an important point that I want to draw your attention to. This hadith is being relayed by one of the servants of Imam al-Ridha. You know, usually when you think about the relationship between a master and his slave, usually the relationship is one of do this, don't do that, get me this, get me that. Here, the servant of Imam al-Ridha is transmitting knowledge to us. Which means the Imam السلام, used to invest in the education of his servants. In fact, Imam al-Ridha was known to always have his meals with his servants. You know, in the past, the servants used to have their, have their own table spread and the help, the servants, the slaves, the maids, they would eat in their own quarters. But Imam al-Ridha he would eat with them. He would converse with them. He would share his wisdom with them. And this is why the servants of Imam al-Ridha essentially become scholars of hadith. They transmit the knowledge that they have received from the Ahlul Bayt.